Hello rugby fans and welcome back to the channel. Finally, the Bears Gamer is back. I must apologize, it's been several months without proper content. Um, a few excuses really, I've not really been motivated at the minute. I was a bit bored of the rugby gaming scene in general. Rugby Challenge 4 had got completely boring. Um, rugby 08 is brilliant as it is. There were some issues with the 2022 mod, so we never really got underway there. And uh, yeah, just just taking some downtime really, just taking a, a, a little bit of time off to recuperate, to leave social media, to leave the YouTube scene, spend a bit of time with family and just get refreshed really. Um, I do hate myself that I was not here on the scene when Rugby 22 first released. I know it's only been out for a week or so, but I love bringing you guys the content that builds up to the release and then my initial impressions, etc, etc. So I'm sorry it's delayed, but we are here today with my first impressions video of Rugby 22. So before we get into it, please do drop a like if you enjoyed this video and if you're excited for the return of the Bears Gamer, content should be flowing thick and fast as it once was. Um, please leave a comment down below, let me know your thoughts on Rugby 22 and how you're getting on with it. And of course, if you haven't already, please do move that subscribe button. So here we are today, I'm going to run through a quick game on Rugby 22 and I'm just going to give you guys my impressions as we play. And I'm sure you're looking at the screen thinking, hang on a minute, he's got the spring box. South Africa are in the game. They're not licensed. How come I haven't got it on my game? Well, as you know, on this channel, I do enjoy the PC gaming side of the rugby community, including mods and things like that. So when Rugby 22 dropped, of course, it had to be the PC version. Thanks to the guys at Rugby22 as well. I got given a code after a few emails. Um, so, yeah, that was brilliant of them, and I do very much appreciate it. But, yes, it is the PC uh, version I have got, which you can get on Steam. And, of course, with PC versions of games, you have the ability to mod. Now, there's lots of fabulous guys over on the Rugby Forum who have already begun and already started modding this game. I believe, you know everything at some point we will get everything fully modded in so the premiership all of the missing um, international teams um, there's even talk of alternate commentary and things like that so that is certainly something to look forward to and when there is a big big mod available and completed of course I will release a tutorial video and show you guys how to do it at the minute the only completed team 100% is the Springbok South Africa so we're going to play as them today, and we're going to play against Scotland. I am playing as South Africa, and I'm looking for revenge. Scotland beat England in the opening weekend of the Six Nations. Didn't deserve it in my opinion, but fair play. Getting the win is getting the win, and Scotland managed to do it. So we are going to be looking for some revenge against Scotland. Before we do that, I mean, what are my thoughts on the teams? Yes, very disappointed, particularly about the Premiership that has been in the previous Rugby 20, etc, etc. So a big, big disappointment that that is not there. And you know me, I love playing as the Bristol Bears. That is my team. And to see them like that um, is not ideal, especially for players on console who don't have access to mods. But fingers crossed, sooner rather than later, Premiership will be modded in for the gut for us guys on the PC. You've got the URC Pro D2, Nations Trophy Top 14, of course, um, and the missing teams on here will also be modded in eventually. So if you're on the PC version, you shouldn't worry too much about licenses. Console guys, I'm very very sorry, but yeah, slightly disappointed with the lineup. But of course, they've got some brilliant new additions as well, like the All Black. So. There's a bit of a mixture there in the URC as well. I know if you guys think back to some of the videos I made um, on Rugby 22 before it was released, I sort of hoped that we might get the MRL or some sort of obscure league like that. 
um, but unfortunately that hasn't happened. Stadiums, again, are just random. They're not official stadiums, which is slightly disappointing. I would love to see a few stadiums in there, especially if they've got the licenses for certain teams. Why can't they get those stadiums in there? I don't know, but there is a slightly bigger selection, I believe, this time around. Team management, as you can see here, the players are all there for South Africa, modded in, looking brilliant. Um, yeah, there has been a few question marks over Colby on this game and why he's not there, even though he's on the cover, but I believe that will be sorted sooner rather than later. And let's get into a game of Rugby 22. So here we are, Scotland versus South Africa. I mean, straight away you can see it definitely looks better than Rugby 20. They've made a good graphical leap, in my opinion. Things look a lot better. There is the South Africa 15. I think that sort of jumps out at you straight away. Of course, I'm not playing on next-gen consoles, so you know, you guys who have played the game on there are probably getting even a slightly better looking version. Unfortunately, I do suffer with a bit of frame rate issues, but I can see in some of the first console patches that they're looking into that so hopefully that is something that we can get sorted out um, but yeah so graphically it looks certainly a lot better I would say as we turn that ball over instantly and the pimpy is already away tackled here Faf de Klerk Pollard and just like that we're going over straight away here we go Andre Pollard, try scorer under the sticks. And yeah, it just looks better. One of my big criticisms of Rugby 20 was that all the players looked like weightlifters. Um, they didn't look too great. The uh, the models, I think, have made... They've been a big improvement on the character models. Still not 100% perfect, I would say, but definitely looking far better than Rugby 20. And things just look a lot more crisp, clear and just better overall. I like the scorecard up in the corner. I think the main menus and things like that, everything's looking better. Um, so yeah, graphically, I think it's a step up. Of course, yes, when we're living in the, damn it, the world of your FIFAs and your NBA 2Ks and things like that, where sports games look absolutely fantastic, almost like real life, um, you have certainly you know, this this isn't a mainstream studio for starters, so you can't really expect that. But yes, you do sort of get disappointed when you play games like that. And then you look it up against Rugby 22. Big, big improvements, but definitely uh, could look better. Um, and then we just move on to gameplay, which in my opinion has always been these game strengths. And the Pimpy completely isolated out here. Think unless we lose the ball here, which we probably shouldn't. Oh, too quickly, Khaleesi's picked it up. Um, we've completely lost the ball there, so that's a disaster. Fullback save us. Crunching tackle. Um, yeah, on to gameplay, which, like I said, has always been the strength of the, these games. Andre Pard, not sure. Should have gone with it then. After Clerk, in the touch. There we go, seven man lineup. Yeah, like I was saying, the gameplay has always been the strength of these games. You would say Rugby Challenge has got the customization and um, things like that. And probably slightly graphically better. But I tend to agree with most people when they say they have more fun playing these games. Um, forward pass, that was for sure. We're not going to worry about that. Um, yeah, it's, it's fun, and that's the main thing about games. That's why Jonah Loma Rugby back in the day and uh, Rugby 08 was so so well liked in everyone's opinion. It's because um, the gameplay is fun. Um, you know, we're not going to say that it's 100% feeling like real life rugby, so I don't think games can ever really replicate that. It is too much. Uh, there's too much nuance to the game, shall we say, as Colby breaks down the wing. But, yeah, it's, it's not perfect. It's got its uh, difficulties for sure. Lovely break here, then. Should be another try. Oh, he's not quite there. He has. He's put it down. It's 
South Africa are two tries to the good on the stroke of halftime. But yeah, to me, summing it up, Rugby 22 is fun. I haven't put hours and hours and hours and hours into it yet, but I'm sure I will. Um, and it's enjoyable. You know, you can have good fun. You can string phases of play together. Um, I like the passing on this game. It feels a lot more flowing. Not going to say it's um, clearly not 100% realistic. Um, but like I said, you're going to struggle to ever get 100% realistic. Um, the passing is fun to me. I, I enjoy it. Um, you can string some nice, like I said, phases of play together. Get people out wide, long looping passes. It's fun. You know, I'm a fan of the Bristol Bears, and they certainly play a free-flowing, fast game of rugby. Lovely kick there. Oh, it's not quite made it. He's gone into touch. Foot was on the line. And that was a forward pass. Um, yeah, that was the end of the first half. Scotland have got two tries on the board. Uh, South Africa have, sorry, against Scotland. Yeah, I think overall gameplay is positive. I mean, I'd like to see them make a few tweaks here and there. Um, ooh, lovely, lovely break again inside for Newland. No. Oh, somehow he's got that off. Yeah, of course, with a few patches. Hopefully the uh, guys at EKO Software sort of support the game going forward as we've given that one away. And, um, you know, put together a lovely intercept from Khaleesi. Put together a few patches. Oh, lovely ball. That's what I mean. Out to Colby. That was brilliant. Colby's going to go into touch. No, he's not. That's all you really want with games like this is just support from the developers. Now that one's in touch, clearly. You know, keep just just listen to the community, listen to what they're saying about the game. Um, patches, oh, that certainly has gone out into touch. Regularly patch it, listen to the community, and then together, hopefully, we can get ourselves a very good game of it. rugby. Scott, oh, terrible at line outs. That's one thing for sure. Not my first few games. But there's promise there. That's what I'm trying to say. There is promise. It looks better. It plays better. Am I having more fun than I was on Rugby Challenge? I would say certainly at the minute. One thing I will sort of um, criticise is the game modes and a lack of a proper, proper career mode. I mean, I know they've got what they call is a career mode. But really, that is their sort of ultimate team of rugby. I prefer career modes where I can take the Bristol Bears, take control of them, play a season with them, um, you know, recruit players in the off season, look at um, signing players, dealing with off the field stuff. A oh, lovely sidestep from Colby. Um, yeah, and just getting sort of more nitty gritty with the behind the scenes rugby um, I know you can play a season mode but as far as I'm aware that is just lovely we go over for a third try the season mode is just playing one season as the team of your choice and that's it there's no consequences no sort of backstage no sort of dealing with players or anything like that um, so yeah that would be my main concern I would would have really liked that something where I can take the Bristol Bears play season after season after season build a team bring new players in manage contracts things like that um, and yeah unfortunately that's not there I haven't given the so-called career mode a look yet but from what I've seen online and from what I've seen of having a little glimpse of it it is just the ultimate team style I mean if you guys would like to see an attempt at that let me know. Perhaps it's something I can have a little go at and experiment with. Um, or perhaps I just play a... Oh, terrible pass. I'm not sure where he's going that far back. Perhaps I will just play a season mode as the Bristol Bears. The Pimpy! Oh. And um, just go from there. Maybe I could just repeat season after season. Uh, we'll see how we go. But yeah, I will be bringing some more content. Let me know what you want to see. 
Is there any specific teams you want to see? Of course, when the mods get released, I'll be showcasing them as soon as I can. Let's see if we can finish off Scotland with one more try. Oh, they've turned it over, so probably not. We've gone for the kick. We've blocked it. Willie LaRue. Let's get them all going. Push. Push. Well, we're getting absolutely mashed around here in this mall. We shall extract. Oh, stuck in the middle. All of the games I've played so far, I really have had fun. Of course, let me know in the comments what you guys have thought of Rugby 22 so far. We'll go back here. After clerk, forward pass, and that will wrap the game up. Overall impressions, Rugby 22 is definitely a step in the right direction. Ga graphics are slightly improved, gameplay is improved, and I'm generally having a lot of fun with it. Disappointments in the game modes and the lack of specific licenses, but of course on the PC version we can get around that. So yeah, let me know in the comments what you think of Rugby 22. Let me know if you're excited for more content, let me know what you want to see. Drop a like if you have enjoyed this video. Leave a comment down below. I get back to absolutely all of them. If you haven't already, please do move that subscribe button. And I'll see you in the virtual scrum.